right, so here we are. This is a buddy of ours cars. We gotta do some work to it real quick. Not a big deal, just fabricate some stuff on it. One of the things we gotta do is we gotta remove this fuel tank and we're gonna build another bracket up in here to mount that guy. And it doesn't have a battery, but we gotta mount that futuristic gizmo and this guy. And then we're gonna quickly replace the shifter because this one has no reverse button on it. Start getting a few basic measurements and what to do and how to go about this. Just because it's not structural or nothing, we're just all it is, is gonna hold a fuel tank. It's fine. We're just actually just using pipe. It's fine. All right, so we got all the bolts out. Let's see what we got. It's still full of fuel. What we'll end up doing. Okay, we'll just tip this guy up. And hopefully, fuel's all down here so we can get these two fittings off and without lighting ourselves on fire. And there we go. Whatever that guy's to. About half full of fuel. And there you go. All right, so we got this piece cut out. The fish this guy in here. First, we gotta make some fish mounts. First, we're gonna have to make some fish mouths right there and get them to fit. All right, got my piece cut out, measured, get it welded in. All right, so we got her tacked in. She's still smoldering. Now, get the cross members put in and Get that tank ready to mount. All right, so now that we got this guy in, we're gonna end up cutting these two out to use them to mount the new fuel tank up here. So, man, they got these guys welded in there. <laughs> they, used, they used a fence post here, but they welded the daylights out of the... Yeah, that's great. All right, I'm done for the day. We're getting there, we made some progress. I'll get these mounts made up tomorrow. But before we do that, I'm gonna test this fuel. I wanna go light the barbecue grill and make something to eat. Man alive, there's nothing better than a hamburger grill to perfection. He's gone. So that fuel's good. The next day. Well, we got it ratchet strapped in here. And I don't know, looks like it'll work. We'll probably tack it in and see what happens. Make sure we got some clearance right there. Good. Okay, so we're back over on the baby drill press. We gotta ream these little holes out just a little, ever so slightly, to get the bolts to fit.
Why am I doing this outside? I have no idea, especially when it's raining. But we got this mount it's somewhat fabricated up. This guy will fit in there. We'll make some tabs for it. Let's get her tacked up. All right, see what we got. There we go. Good enough for who it's for. Sorry, David, but it's true. We're also gonna give David's car the first preemptive weenie sticker because with the Equitech and the sedan transmission, she ain't gonna make it too long. She's gonna blow. If you think the combination of the Ecotech and the sedan transmission is gonna work or fail, leave it in the comments. All right, so we got this piece. It's gonna fit up in here. I just gotta cut these bottom mounts off. Uh, I didn't film it. We got it all tacked in. So basically it was just like And it's all, it's all tacked in. Now we get to pull everything off. Actually fully welded in. And then put it all back together. We got to pull it all apart. So we can get it all welded up one more time. Finalized and then we're done. But she's ready. Let's cut to some welding music. Okay, so we got all this welded in. She's all welded up now. I'm gonna let it cool before we put it back together again. So now we're gonna turn our attention to the shifter. We want the new shifter put in, so we're gonna throw that guy in real quick and call it good. We can't fully test it because motor doesn't run right now because he doesn't have a battery and there's no fuel because David's going to hook the lines up to the new fuel tank. So, all right. So right here, besides for whatever weird motor that thing is, the car is mostly Volkswagen. So I should be using a 13. Instead, I'm using a half inch. So that's my fault. Yeah, I think he's replacing the shifter because there's no reverse button on it. But as we've learned from my car, you don't need reverse on these things. You don't, it's an unnecessary option. So there's the old shifter. Well, for some reason, we lost all the hardware. Oh, there it is. We got the shifter in. Put the hardware back on. Tighten the bolts down with the wrong wrench. All right, we're gonna get this guy plugged in. And what on earth are all these things? Volkswagen will run on three wires. There's like 87 here. The only problem is I'm missing a nut for that bottom one over there. I wish, wish I had Miller's car here. He'd, he'd have nuts and bolts laying all over the place.
Nothing beats zip ties. He can hose clamp it later. Now I can get this car out of here and stop killing all my grass. There we go. It's all done. So if anyone knows what this thing is, I have no idea. We only know Volkswagens around here. And what in the world is this thing? Holds water. If you have any idea what kind of a motor holds water in it, leave it in the comments down below. Because all we know is air cooled. As we as we all know, Volkswagens are the greatest motor they ever built. If you agree, type Volkswagen down in the comments. Here we are, a few months later, car hasn't been returned yet, because we're gonna end up disassembling this car and rebuilding it as the ultimate bohemian. The biggest, baddest five seat beam car the world has ever seen. Also doubles as a lumber holder. Stay tuned for that. I'd like to see your finest RV. You have something better than Wild J? Yes, we do. That would be the ultimate behemoth. Where is it? Oh. We are standing in its presence. Behold! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wow. Didn't she look at this thing? Says, Can you man build this? It's a vehicle.